Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kim Make Elego Artisan. And we're back. I actually have here the art school corner. And as you can see, I've parted out some of the plastics for the second set. And I'm getting ready to build the larger version of this one, which is Emma's art school corner. And that would need two sets of 41711, a base plate, and three door panels. So that's all you would need to create a larger version of this mock, which I intend to do now. Um, and just to show you that uh, you can build this in a different way, I am going to challenge myself and create this using these instructions in a mirror build so that if you want this way or if you want a mirror version of this depending on the layout of your Lego city then you can do it in any odd option that you want so without further ado I'll start things off with a build and show you the progress And there we go. We finally have the larger version of Emma's art school corner, which now uses two sets of the set 41711. And other than that, we only used a base plate and three door panels. But the door panels are still optional, so you can just opt to use a base plate and two sets. And you can build this one I'm very happy with this one I mentioned it before I really like the aesthetics and the color scheme that they did for this set and it fits in really well with the other modular buildings which I would show you later and I'm very happy that I was able to build this one using just two sets although of course as you know me, I would do a second and third pass on it and further improve on those little details that we could using the extra parts and collection that I have in my inventory. So let's get started with the overview of the exterior and then go through with the interior as well. Just as a side note, here you can see the extra pieces or the spares that were left over after we've completed the building but i think i can still use most of that in the modular art school corner i'll have to add more details inside later on or i can use them for another build or another mock so parts don't go to waste don't worry <laughs> anyway Let's go back to doing the overview of the exterior. Okay, the art school corner looks complete on this side where you have the stairs here and then you have the aesthetics which is very similar to the official set although as you can see I removed the colors on the blue parts here where they used to have colors yellow green 
magenta and dark pink so I wanted it to be a little more toned down and more uniform and it relates back to this color here so the whole building matches up really well and it looks a little bit more classy um, I really like how they did these parts here so I kept most of the aesthetics for the windows the same way that they did it for the official set the same goes for the roof style so it's basically just making the best version of the two sets of the art school for now I've kept these green colored as a grass although I do have the option of putting tiles so that it can match with the other modular buildings but it will depend on the final location that I would place this one on so this might end up being in the friends district which means that most of the area would be grass and not paved with the road and that means I will keep this green base plate as it is also um, on this side now this one looks like a half modular building but it does have great details like the stickers here and you still have the 3D sign for the art school and these curved windows with a clock on the top portion so I've managed to keep the really nice portions of the art school and I've made sure that we don't waste any of those good materials or parts that were in those sets on this side it's a basic one where you have just the wall but again this one will be placed next to another modular building and what I actually intend to do with this one is use up this and modify it even further by adding another modular building that's completely connected to this one so it'll end up being that this modular building becomes a full 32 by 32 building but the building here would be a different establishment by itself so hopefully I'll be able to do that in the coming days or weeks here would serve mostly like the back portion of the building and as you can see it's also uniform in uh, its style where you have a balcony here and here where this balcony ends up being the access to the second level and this one is just an open one so that it would be similar to the aesthetics of the lower level or the middle level on the bottom portion here you have the area where you would be able to place the bikes but if this one is placed next to another modular building I would have to remove this portion here and then probably put it here on the other side or maybe in front of the building itself so we'll see how I would change that later on now that we've seen the exterior of the art school corner we can now go in and see the interior of each level for the ground floor the main improvement that I would make using the extra parts that I have in my collection would be to sort out the trees as you can see here they move sideways and rotate a little bit well actually a lot so I might end up modifying this portion here and trying to make it secure so that it doesn't move for now I'll remove it so that we can have a better look at the interior okay so we have two entrances one on the side and one here in the front and upon entering you'll have your mannequins here and then 
on each side of the mannequins, you'd have your sewing machine and some of the cloth or needles and some threads or whatnot. And then you have a meter stick here as well as there or a measuring device. And you have the chairs here. On the other side, you have a wall art here. And then as you rotate it, you have here a coffee making machine and then a pantry area here where you could place some fruits and vegetables and pastries on those clear panels. Then you have here another faucet and then the locker after that. The nice things about the friend sets are the stickers that actually end up adding more details to a build. And it's the same for this set where you have these sticker pieces that show the different crafts that are in the school. So you have their pottery, painting, the camera or digital artworks as well as sewing. So I've kept that in to show that the building or the art school offers those different courses for the ones who attend the school. So that's it for the ground floor. The second level is mainly for photography. So you have there the cameras where you have backgrounds and then you have the desktops or computers where you have a 3D printer on one side and then digital art on the other side. And there are actually two computers. One is on the other side and you can see the digital printer on the, the corner or these round windows so that they don't take up too much space and you get to use those awkward areas with the curved windows. Also, there are some accessories here for when you take those photos and you want to add more details to the images. So that's it. And also underneath the stairs is another coffee maker, of course. Um, I think most of the art students would be able to relate that they always need coffee to do their work or their arts successfully. <laughs> and then um, you have the stairs that lead up to the third level. So although I mentioned um, in the earlier part that I had to put the stairs to uh, maximize the space, um, for the ground floor um, for the second level I had to put the stairs inside due to the constraints of the side of the building here if I had to put uh, another door on the lower level and then put up the stairs that lead up to the upper level we just don't have enough width here to be able to have two doors and the stairs that lead up to the third level. So um, my solution was just to use the interior stairs to have access and then just make sure that I maximize the space by utilizing the space underneath the stairs as well. The main improvement that I would do here for this small on the second level is to use proper tile works on these ones so that they lock and don't move like for this one here it slightly moves and it's not 100% aligned the same goes for this one but again if you have extra parts in your collection that's easy enough to modify and add and if you don't well, it can still work as it is and it doesn't really heavily affect the structure of the building because you can see here, you can still carry it with one hand and things don't fall apart. One of the main things or um, 
aspects that I usually try to ensure in my builds is try to make them as um, structurally structurally stable as possible now we move on to the third level so you have here the area where you would come from the second level and then enter you have some flowers on the corner windows or the curved windows and there's a faucet there or a water spray just in case you need them for the plants or for the pottery and then you have here the pottery area you have some pots and you have some ceramics there and this is where they try to do and try to create those um, pots we still have the play features that we can rotate the clay although it's a little bit trickier to access the area but it's still there and again on this area we still have another one which is another coffee making machine and another pantry area and what I intend to do is place a few more cups and fruits and pastries there so it'll be more detailed here we have the balcony and like I said before you have the option to place a door panel here or just leave it as an open area and then on these two sides you have two different artworks that are similar to the design in the um, official set and then you have here what we would call a ladder or um, a built-up ladder using plates so since this one doesn't have an um, an official ladder piece uh, I've had to make up something to get access to the rooftop again um, limited with the space and with the parts that are in the set I've had to use this and improvise but I think it's fair that things like this happen in a modification or alternate design because like I said before and what I would want us to continue doing is to do what we can with what we have and there we go try to improvise and innovate And now for the final part, the rooftop. So for this part, you have another access coming from the ladder from downstairs. And you have those four wonderful stickered pieces on tiles. And they are artworks. So this one is the painting area. And you have here some nice decorations on the side. And Although this one is an open area, I think it would be best to place the painting um, class here so that they can see the different um, parts of the Lego town and they would be inspired to paint. So maybe they are seeing this bridge somewhere in our Lego town or in your Lego city. That's why they're painting it on this portion here. And that's it for the build and overview of our Emma's Art School Corner, the combination of two sets of 41711. Um, I'm very happy with this one, although, as I said before, I will still modify this and add on to it. I will turn this one into a full corner building, but with the other business here. Um, something friends related or something modular city related I'll still have to see what I can come up with that would complement the art school corner maybe an art school supply or something <laughs> um, anyway I'm very happy with this one as it is right now and I will place it in our Lego town with the friends themed street and then maybe later on 
in the coming weeks, I'll modify this even further. But for now, I'm very happy with this one. I really like how it turned out. Um, anyway, guys, let's go and put this back in our Lego town. And there we have Emma's Art School Corner along with the other modular buildings in the French Street. Um, for now, I've decided not to place them in their permanent positions because I still have to build a few more French themed sets. So I'll have to play around with their positions first before I do anything permanent such as placing them on the base plates. And here at the back, you can see the construction guys very busy with their construction and their preparation for the other modular buildings. Although it's kind of strange that they're using red bricks or red pieces and the ones that are coming out of the sets are not actually red. <laughs> so maybe in the future we'll have a red building. And just on a side note, I recently watched um, Thor Love and Thunder. It's definitely a must see if you're a Marvel fan or if you're even just a casual uh, fan of the franchise. It's a very nice movie. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click the like button and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Also, if you have comments on improving the mocks here as well as suggestions on other sets that I could do a mock or modification on, please let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, bye!